in the studio today with Nashville songwriter, producer, and guitarist, Kenny Greenberg. Uh, Kenny has worked with many of today's top country artists, such as Taylor Swift, Faith Hill, Gretchen Wilson, Brooks and Dunn. He's also uh, worked on many Grammy-winning recordings, and he's also produced some of uh, today's hottest artists. So, Kenny, tell us how you got started playing the guitar. Well, I always had one as a kid, mm -hmm. and uh, then I moved to Nashville when I was 20, mm -hmm. and just hung around in the bars and played with songwriters and um, young guys trying to start bands. Yeah. And um, from playing with songwriters, I would go into the studio and play on their demo recordings, and then maybe one of those songwriters would get a record deal, sure. and I would end up playing on their record. So I slowly worked my way into in, into the studio business, which most of my time is spent in the studio. That's awesome. When did you first begin to get interested in music? Uh, actually, my parents were uh, really in, uh, encouraged me at an early age, and uh, I played uh, trombone and cello in school. Oh, yeah. And always had a guitar because of the Beatles and the Stones and Hendrix, and mm -hmm. I wanted to be cool like mm -hmm. those guys were. And um, so I played music all through school, but I didn't really pursue the guitar until I quit college okay. and decided I wanted to take a swing at uh, really playing guitar. Great. So. Well, Kenny, you're not only a guitarist, you're also a producer, songwriter, all sorts of things. Tell us about the different facets of your career. Well, I really feel like that there's three th main things that I do. Okay. And uh, the thing I do the most is play guitar. And really, in this phase uh, of my life, I'm playing more guitar than I've ever played. Okay. So I spend a good 60, 70 percent of my time playing guitar for other people mm -hmm. on records, playing some gigs. And uh, I produce records as well. Yeah. And really, I got into producing records really just to try to get work, <laughs> you know, and uh, um, and also working with bands um, and rock and roll bands. I found that I was really good in the studio and um, arranging and recording. Sure. So I ended up doing that. And then I always wrote songs. Hmm. And being in Nashville, I've had the you know uh, incredible opportunity to be around some amazing songwriters yeah. and I really feel like I'm more of a fan of songwriter than a great songwriter myself <laughs> but I love to write songs and I'll get in and write uh, if I have an opportunity I like to write with uh, uh, lyricists that are really great yeah. and they're definitely here in Nashville mm -hmm. and I've had some success with some of my songs so I've That's been really great. fortunate yeah here's a uh, triplet lick that starts out sort of in a Peter Green kind of a thing and then ends up with a stone cold steel of a uh, Jimi Hendrix lick. <laughs> so what it is, if the beats da 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 it's like fast triplets. So it's That's the first part of it. Then here's the Hendrix part. So my favorite Hendrix licks he's used a million times. I've stole it a lot. It's you take the B string and from right, if you're playing an A, from right here, from the six, you pull all the way up to that note and grab this string underneath it. It sounds cool. The end of it's just kind of backwards, like, and then slide down. Well, Kenny, tell us about um, your studio that we're in right now. Well, this is my studio. This is the control room of my studio. We have a big tracking room back there, and on the other side of the camera, there's an overdub room, and then also over to our right, there's another large room. I happen to live in a house that has a, a large above ground basement. We basically made this our recording studio. And I ended up having a recording studio out of necessity 
because my wife is a recording uh, artist mm -hmm. and we wanted to have control of uh, the music that we made. Sure. So we had this nice big house that we moved into, so we made this into a studio where we make her records down here. Mm -hmm. And then what ended up happening, because I have a lot of gear here, uh, we'll probably look at the gear um, shortly. Yeah. And um, so a lot of people hire me to play guitar, but you know, in these economic times, it's not always feasible to say, all right, let's go to Blackbird D, which is $1,500 a day, and have your car to send over your gear, which is another $150, and then we hire an engineer. It's too expensive. Yeah. So what happens is, and uh, it's a common thing here in Nashville, mm -hmm. is that I have my own studio, I've got my guitar gear that stays here, mm -hmm. and people send me hard drives, and my Pro Tools computer that's behind us, we hook up their hard drive and I record guitars for their record hmm. and I save them money and I enjoy recording here at my house and so it's been a really great thing to have the studio. This is my Paul Reed Smith guitar. I love this guitar and I use these a lot on records and what I like about it is they have great sounding humbucking pickups. They stay in tune re really good. The scale is a little bit longer than a Les Paul so for me it's a little tighter, a little snappier, and stays in tune better. So this has been a real kind of usable, you know. This is my 1966 Stratocaster, and I've had this for about 25 years, and uh, I use it all the time, and it just, you can't beat them. This is my 1948 J45. It's my go-to acoustic guitar, and um, what can I say? It's an old J45. <laughs> this is a 1962 SG Les Paul. And when I was 19 years old, I drove by a house and people were moving and it was sticking out of a garbage can upside down. And I went up to the door and I said, you guys throwing that away? And they said, oh yeah, it's, you can, it's a piece of junk. It's got it's scratched up, it's not any good. So I ended up getting it. This is a Yamaha, whatever it's called, uh, AES 1500 from the, I think they made these in the late 80s. And I have Tom Holmes Gretsch type filter trons in it. And this is my Gretsch style guitar. This is my Paul Reed Smith baritone guitar. And uh, it's an incredibly um, easy baritone guitar to play that, that Paul has recently started making. <laughs> Well, tell us what it's like performing with your wife, Ashley. Well, you know, it's, it's great. <laughs> we, it, it took us a while to learn how to be married and, and travel together sure. and, and uh, record together, but we're, we're on a good roll now, and um, it's really great, and it's a chance for me to stretch out and play uh, some guitar styles that I don't normally mm. get to do. And, for instance, we're getting ready to go to Europe mm -hmm. for 10 days and we're uh, going to do a tour of um, England, um, Scotland and Ireland and it's a package uh, tour with uh, Jerry Douglas is on it mm -hmm. and Alison Moore and Tim O'Brien and uh, the songwriter Paul Brady and uh, I think we're the gospel contingent, the okay. you know, the, the gospel contingent of the, of the whole thing but we're going to get to do some TV shows and play some places cool we haven't played before, so that's, that's going to be great. Yeah. If I had my way If I had my way If I had my way Good Lord, I would tear this building down Delilah was a woman 
fine and fair. She had good looks, God knows, and coal black hair. Delilah, she came on. Samson's mind went first. Well, Kenny, thank you so much for having us. Your studio is amazing here in town, and it looks like you have a lot going on. So we really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us. Today. Awesome. Glad to be here. Mm -hmm.